you guys. Good morning. Well, it's morning here at least. I just finished my 20 minute cardio morning run. I suck at running. I literally, I don't know if I hate any kind of cardio activity more than I hate running. I am not a good runner. I don't have perfect form. Everything hurts when I run, like everything hurts. Uh, my calves, the arches of my feet, my knees, like every, I'm just so uncomfortable when I run because I've never been a consistent runner. And so every time I do it, it feels brand new to me. But I wanna challenge myself and challenge myself every single day. And if I'm not challenging myself, I'm not growing, I'm not changing. I'm, you know, just doing what I know and doing what I like. And so I encourage you guys to challenge yourself with your workouts, with an activity that you have never done before or a an extra rep or an extra set or a machine at the gym that intimidates you or that you never really know how to use. Um, challenge yourself, you guys. I just wanted to come on and say good morning and also just to push you because um, I am pushing myself and trying to step outside of my comfort zone and do things that make me so uncomfortable. There is no physical activity I feel more uncomfortable doing than running. Like I'm literally, even when I run with my dog for like 50 yards, I'm like, ugh, that was awful. I'm so bad at that. But it's okay. It's okay to admit that you're not great at something and try to improve on it. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I did a 20 minute run this morning and yes, I stopped after 10 minutes for one minute and then I ran for 10 more minutes. But that's just what I gotta do. I'm just scared of overdoing it and hurting myself because I know I'm not a perfect runner and I don't have perfect form. And so I just want to do it kind of slowly and work my way into it. And I'm running really freaking slow, you guys. Like, seriously. No shame in that game, though. I don't care. I'll run a 10 minute mile until I'm comfortable with my form and I'm getting better at it. So challenge yourself. Do something every day to challenge yourself. Um, that is my like goal for you guys today or my challenge for you today is to do something that scares you that makes you uncomfortable take yourself outside of that comfort zone and push yourself every single day and that is what this channel is all about and I know it's been a little bit different recently but I want to tell you that I'm moving back to daily vlogs I'm still going to do my wedding prep series once a week but then you will be seeing just daily vlogs follow me around see what I'm doing in my life and all that fun stuff so today I have a few things that I'm doing um I'm going to show you some of the food that I'm eating I think and and uh, I don't know, just we'll see what I get into today. I have kind of a busy-ish day. I just have a couple errands planned that might be fun to take you guys with me. So um, I'll show you what I'm gonna eat for breakfast because I'm so hungry post-run. And then I'm actually going to film a post-workout beauty routine for a super secret surprise coming soon. Um, you'll hear more about that later. But. Thumbs up if you miss daily vlogs and if you're excited to see daily vlogs because that is what you guys are going to get now. So I am going to show you what I'm going to eat. Okay, so here's my brekkie and I'm very excited about it. Um, I made turkey kielbasa. This is Jenny O turkey kielbasa and I check my grocery store maybe every week for this stuff and I never find it. I just end up getting chicken and apple sausage, um, the Idels, which I really like, but I love turkey kielbasa. It's like my favorite um, non pork sausage to get. So, um, I got that and then I made about a link and a half of that. I'm really friggin' hungry right now because it's like, it's like 11 15 and usually I eat a little bit earlier, but today I was working and going to the grocery store and so I hadn't eaten yet. And then I made avocado toast. So I toast a piece of bread in the toaster. I put a little bit of butter on it. I smash my avocado with a fork, don't do it with a spoon. I don't know why, but I used to do that a lot, like smash it with a spoon and it just tears up the bread and doesn't work at all. Then I sprinkle a little bit, very little bit of garlic salt on top of the smashed avocado. Top it with a fried egg. You can do over easy, over medium, over hard. I like my fried eggs over easy. I like them very runny. So I make mine over easy and then I top it with a little bit of pepper, no extra salt because we added that garlic salt and then some red pepper flakes for spice. If you don't want the spice, you can totally leave it out of there. Another good thing um, that I've tried before is on top of the avocado with the garlic salt, putting a little bit of lemon just to um, give it that little bit of citrus kick is really, really nice. So that is my breakfast. And then today I am having my Starbucks venti iced unsweet black tea and then i put three splenda in here i have been using truvia but when i've been going to starbucks i kind of let them make it for me especially when i'm running errands and i'm out and about so um i don't normally eat splenda or, or whatever use splenda but when i'm going to the grocery store and stuff which is what was happening and i want to drink it during it i um i have them put it in for me so it's got three splenda in there and that's my breakfast and that's it you guys so if you try it and you take a picture and post it anywhere, um, tag me in it at Abby underscore Esbenshade or um, use hashtag 3SFitness and I'll find it. So 
I'm gonna go enjoy it now. Hey guys, so I'm about to make a the most delicious lunch ever. I just filmed a post-workout beauty routine and I am going to make chicken and waffles for lunch and it's like a healthier chicken and waffles. I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna use these Nutrigrain Blueberry Eggo waffles. I also have regular like whole grains, excuse the ice cream, regular whole grains waffles. Um, and then we're gonna take some of this Simply Smart Purdue lightly breaded chicken. Macros on it are actually pretty good. And we're just gonna come over here, do a little makeshift tripod-y type action. Okay, I'm gonna pop two of these waffles in the toaster, and we have paper plates right now, so I'm gonna use paper plates to heat up my chicken, which literally all you have to do is take, um, I take like two or three pieces depending on how big they are. So I got one, and you can make these in the oven, two, three. So that's probably about five ounces of chicken, I would say. Okay, and then all we have to do is pop it in the microwave, and how you do this is set it for two minutes, and then you flip it halfway through, so I'll flip it out a minute, and then I'll hit this start thing and add an extra 30 seconds. So really it goes for two minutes and 30 seconds in there while my waffles are going in my toaster, my very dirty toaster because I made an everything bagel. <laughs> okay, so I turned my waffles halfway through too, by the way, because I don't know, I've always done it that way. So this is legitimately five minute chicken and waffles. Like that's how long it takes to make this and it's epic. You are not even gonna believe how good this is. You're not actually gonna taste it, but you're gonna take my word for it that it's friggin' delicious because it is. And while we wait for that, for the two minutes that it's gonna be in there, I thought I would tell you fun facts. My favorite cheat meal is pizza and ice cream. My favorite dessert's ice cream. My favorite actual food ever in the world is pizza, which if you follow my Instagram or follow me anywhere else, I've said that so many times. And then my favorite healthy food is probably roasted broccoli and asparagus or just roasted vegetables are my favorite. There are some that I don't like, but I love Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, butternut squash, asparagus, all those. I think they're delicious roasted, so. Fun facts about Abby, guys. Okay, so here's how it goes. You have the waffles, you put a little butter on the waffles, you have the chicken on top of it, and then you take your syrup, and I am using Hungry Jack Light Syrup, which you can actually microwave this, and then you make it a masterpiece and you just drizzle it over, and you can't knock this until you've tried it. Chicken and waffles is like a thing. People eat this, it's flippin' delicious. You need to try it, but I need to go eat this right now. My mouth is watering so much. <laughs> the aftermath. Oh God. Okay, peeps, so we are heading out to go to um, Vitamin Shop. We need more supplements, and by we, I mean me, but you're gonna come with me, it's gonna be really fun. So I need to get some specific supplements, and then I'm also looking for a couple extra things, and I'm just gonna browse around, because that's what I do when I go to Vitamin Shop. So that's what we got on the docket. We might stop a few other places for funsies. See what we get into? Okay, let's go. Okay, we made it to Vitamin Shop. Now we're going to go and see what we find in here. Exciting, exciting, exciting day. Which I had no idea about. Look at the cute little ones. $69 for that big one? Wow. That's a good size. really like that little one. 
Okay, so I just got all the stuff that I wanted to at Vitamin Shop, plus some extra stuff, and I thought we would try this on camera. Look how tall my bun is right now. It's like freaking out. It's like poof, alfalfa bun right now. Okay, have you guys ever tried these? These are IsoPure protein drinks. Um, they have 40 grams of 100% whey protein isolate. IsoPure is actually one of my favorite protein like powders and I got some I'm gonna show you when we get home like my haulage but this is crazy I've never heard of anything like this it's literally look it looks like a juice and they have like a million flavors and so while I'm in there I'm so intrigued I get online and I start reading reviews on a few places one was bodybuilding.com and it got 8.9 out of 10 and it said apple melon was some of people's favorite flavors. so I just got one and I thought we would taste test it and I'm legitimately terrified of this right now it has zero fat 80 grams 80 milligrams of sodium 45 milligrams of potassium zero carbs and 40 grams of protein 40 grams of protein so I would have like half of this and then the other half like later it says the only thing in it is filtered water ion exchange whey protein isolates milk protein isolate natural and artificial flavors malic acid sucralose but it, it is um, 160 calories and it's protein so pure you can't see it. It says to shake well and then it's aspartame, lactose, and gluten free. I just, I'm so confused. So I'm just gonna shake this up, we're gonna taste it, and we're gonna hope this goes well, okay? Pray for me, yes, okay. Okay, I shook it. Do you guys see all the bubbles moving around? Bah! Okay, is it gonna like fizz? I honestly don't know what to expect here. Like the only protein taste, Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. It smells like watermelon. Oh my god. It tastes like watermelon. It tastes good. But it's weird. It's like... It tastes like juice. But I feel like there's this like kind of thick aftertaste, but it tastes like juice. You guys, I just had like a gram of protein. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up today. Dang! That is interesting. It's like a little different than, I just spit everywhere. It's a little different than just drinking like apple juice or some kind of juice because it's like it's not thick it's kind of hard to explain um but it's good I mean it tastes good all right so I'm just gonna kind of sip on half of this and I don't know okay guys I thought I'd show you what I got from the vitamin shop as my glasses fall off the table okay so first thing is I got that iso pure drink then I got these, which are Rishi Sweet Matcha Japanese Green Tea Latte Mix. And it does have 12 grams of sugar in it. But I literally got this because I've never had matcha before. And I wanted to have what would be like a real matcha tea latte um, so that I can recreate it. And so, I don't know, I just thought I would try it. And it tells you how to make the matcha latte and an iced matcha latte and a matcha lemonade, which is my sister's favorite. She's like obsessed with matcha lemonade. So I got these because they're already made for me and I cannot have coffee. Like I can't have any coffee. I just found out that, um, literally just found out that coffee is my biggest acid reflux trigger and I'm still suffering from the coffee that I had like three days ago which is the first coffee I'd had in months. So anyway, this has caffeine in it and I think it has like almost the same amount of caffeine that coffee does. So I got this matcha mix. Then I did get just regular ground matcha. So it's 100% organic ceremonial grade matcha. It's tea lovers matcha and I got it from Vitamin Shop, obviously, because that's where all this stuff is from. So I can make my own and add my own sweetener to it. And then I got three Lenny and Larry's cookies. I love these as treats and they have this new one. It is a coconut chocolate chip cookie, which I thought looked delicious. And then my favorite is Snickerdoodle. So I got two Snickerdoodle. Toby, none of this is for you, Lenny and Larry's cookies. Then I got obviously my Iso Pure drink, which I haven't had any more of. 
because I'm a little bit scared of it. It tastes kind of weird, I decided, after a few more sips. But I still might drink more of it. Sorry, I think it kind of spilled a little. Toby, don't, don't, don't lick that. <laughs> Toby just hulking out. Dog Hulk. Yeah, okay. Then I got my absolute favorite, which are my Cyvation Extend BCAAs. These things are baller. They're seriously so amazing. I'm obsessed. They're blue raspberry and I haven't had them in so long and they taste like candy. They're so good. And then, um, especially because I want to like start making matcha, um, like matcha more, I got unflavored isopure protein. And I've actually never bought unflavored protein. Um, but I am interested to try it. It has 25 grams of protein, zero carbs, zero fat, and 260 milligrams of sodium in one scoop. So it's unflavored. I'm interested to see if I can make like a matcha protein smoothie because if I could, I'd start having that in the mornings to give me a little caffeine boost and also just to get some protein in first thing in the morning, especially because I'm doing my cardio in the morning. So I thought it would be good to have this right after that. So I'm gonna try that out. So yeah, that's all I got from Vitamin Shop. Okay, I decided to go ahead and try this whole matcha thing right now. And I mixed the matcha with I whisked it into um, skim milk because that's all we have. I don't have any almond milk right now, which is how we probably usually make it. And then you shake it, the tea latte, matcha tea latte mix, and then you pour it over ice, and it's pretty good. I think I probably needed a little bit more matcha mix in here, but it tastes pretty good. I don't know. My first kind of matcha experience. I feel like I need to get some sort of matcha tea from Starbucks or something so I know how it's supposed to taste before I make it myself. I don't know, but overall I think I did a pretty good job. Hey crew, so I'm gonna sign off today. Um, I have got a bunch of work to do tonight and I am working out early in the morning tomorrow with Andrew, which will actually be the first time I've worked out with him in months. Um, it's been like three months or so, um, but we are gonna film it for you. It should be like an upper body workout, I think is what we're gonna do. That's what I wanna do at least, because I ran today and so I want to do um, upper body. I think my legs are gonna be killer sore tomorrow for my run. So that's my plan, we'll film it for you and I will take you guys around with me tomorrow too. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for daily vlogs again and all that fun stuff. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.